The first inability of narcissism is caring for others. Hi, I'm Dan Cassenti. I'm a cognitive psychologist and I'm also a novelist. I'm putting together these series of uh, YouTube videos to try to explain concepts of narcissism so that viewers can arm themselves against narcissistic abuse. So, caring for others. Caring for others is something that narcissists can't do. And, you know, this is, this is an inability. Some of the greatest moments in our lives, the things that we can be most proud of, is when we uh, care for others. Um, you know, a family member who's sick, a friend who's had a, a tough breakup, um, trying to help people out of situations that are, you know, going to cause them distress. And uh, those kinds of things make us feel good about ourselves, um, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to do, to give of yourself, to care for others. Narcissists just can't, simply can't do this. Now you might question this because there are times when a narcissistic parent can seem to care for their children. Um, that is true, and, and you don't have to doubt your intuition on that. However, when narcissists are caring for their children, it's often because they see their children as an extension of themselves and not necessarily something separate from themselves. So it is still a selfish act as framed by the narcissist. That doesn't mean everybody caring for their children is a, is a selfish act, um, but in narcissistic uh, patterns of behavior, you're not going to see care except for care of themselves uh, from a narcissist. So there is that, that distinction. Now, this is, so, so these are the moments that narcissists can't really take in um, and keep as one of their special recollections of what they've done to themselves. And you have to remember, narcissists are always experiencing inner shame. They might go out with all this bravado and bragging about themselves and talking about how wonderful they are, especially compared to you and you're worthless and you're terrible and they're better than you. That's all a ruse to try to prop themselves up because that shame is so intense and so hurtful to them that they just can't live with it. So they use their mouths, they, they say these nonsense words um, to try to prop themselves up. And it's a, you know, it's a temporary gain for them. It does tamp down their, um, their shame somewhat. But how far does that go to actually curing the problem? Not much, because in the end, they don't believe their own words. Once they allow any scrutiny of those words to come into their head, it's the, the bubbles pop because it's not true what they're saying. So caring for others is something that they lack because of their childhoods. Most narcissists are created from their childhood, their rearing, the things that their guardians or parents did to them as they were growing up. And that makes caring for others almost impossible because they never had an example when they were growing up, or maybe they did, but it was so infrequent that they mostly had to try to look out for themselves. So caring for others is just not going to be in the repertoire. It's not something that's valued. They don't understand how to do it. They've never been taught that. So caring for others is just something they're not going to be able to do, unless, like I said, it's for their children, but that's just an extension of themselves, then that's just caring for themselves too. So um, I think that's all we need to say about that one. Um, if you like this video, please hit like, um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, the more you do that, the more these videos get out to other YouTube viewers by the Google algorithm. So, so please, uh, please do that. And thank you, and I hope you uh, benefited from this. I'll see you next time.